I called him Uncle Joe since I was little, and uh, he he was my uncle, and he treated me like I was his best friend, and I, that's how he treated everybody. He's just an amazing man. He just you know, he had so much love for everybody, and I loved him so much. And it's just it's crazy how it's just it just happened that fast. Uncle Jug was the um, youngest, just like me. And he was just one of the best uncles I've ever had. And Aunt Janice is one of the best aunts I've ever had also. And they just remind me of family, like really close family. He's simply the best. The best friend. Best brother and the best daddy, everything. He, we, we miss him so much. He, he's ever ever time we look out, we uh, we see great evidences of Nathan and and the work he did, and and his family and his little children coming up. And he had always had dreams, you know what I mean, aspirations. And I never did. I just worked. Uh, you know, the buck bait man. To me, uh, that's him. And and to be living his dream right now, doing his work. Red door swings in the bayou breeze Sunshine warms the falling leaves Just seems like another autumn day In the backyard of Nathan Harvey In the backyard of Nathan Harvey Faded stars and stripes are flying proud Radio humming in the background Acorns are falling all around In the backyard of Nathan Harvey um, At the Nate Spot Bake Factory, sometimes I come in and help and it's just really fun process, so I see why he would like to do it. He's just a really awesome guy, and I know Mimi, Mimi said to me that he had a lot of dreams, and he did those dreams. We've done 100 tons this year. We're going to do 300 next year. I'm going to quit my job. <laughs> I don't got to go work for somebody else no more. All because of him. Then a little four-year-old girl comes flying out his back door She climbs up on his back and she laughs And she believes he's coming back He would always come home and play with the kids I can just remember him just like yesterday, him playing basketball with Elizabeth. And he was always running and catching and playing with Elizabeth. Nathan, is just, he was, he's a wonderful guy. I just love Janice and the babies. And it was just truly a blessing to have Nathan as part of our lives. Nathan was one of the best persons I will ever know. He loved his kids and his wife so much. Nathan, always said throughout my pregnancy that he didn't do little babies. He was not going to do little babies. He wanted to apologize. And then she was born and he held her and he held her and he held her. And I said, can I hold my baby? And the only reason he handed her over to me is because I was her food source. So. Then we have Emmeline, same thing. And I was so proud that we were having another girl because I always said every little girl deserved a daddy. Like, yeah. And we had him for a little while. Shop still lit in the back real soft Where he keeps his drills and bucks and saws She can't bring herself to turn it off 
in the backyard of Nathan Harvey. I um, started doing photography about two years ago, like for money, like for real. I was a teacher before my daughter was born. So I was the one to do her newborns. So we had it scheduled, you know, for months before the baby was born. And so I came that morning and um, we took pictures, you know, of the baby and um, Nathan had on his work clothes and he was getting ready to go to his mom's to do some work. And I said, Nathan, no, no, no. I said, you have to take some pictures with the baby. And he said, oh, I'll go change clothes. And I said, I said, don't change clothes. I said, just take your shirt off. Um, I said, we love that chest hair, because he was a nut, and he was hairy, like, everywhere. So I said, we want to see some of that chest hair. So he did. He just took his shirt off, and we just sat in front of um, her, like, French doors. And I just took a few pictures, not anything elaborate, just kind of up close of him holding the baby. And um, then he left. So I'm glad that I said, Take your shirt off and let me take a few pictures, or we wouldn't have had them. It'll be for months a Saturday. A new baby girl who just barely came. She known her daddy for just eight days, but he worked hard every day. And he loved his family Now two pretty little girls they play In the backyard of Nathan Harvey In the backyard of Nathan Harvey so I don't know how many of you know about uh, Nathan and the time capsule, but he was given the opportunity to put something in it. And what he chose to do was to put a letter to Elizabeth from him, assuming he would have watched her grow up and that she would find this in 50 years. And this was written one year ago yesterday, the day before her fourth birthday. Dear Elizabeth, it's hard to write this knowing I'll be gone. Your sister will be born in a couple months, and we're all excited about her. I hope when you read this, you will have had a good life. Your mom is such a blessing to me. I've loved her since we met. She loves you so much. Y'all play and fuss all the time. Ha ha. <laughs> I have so many plans for us in the future. I hope we can make them all happen for you and your sister. Well, my tootie, and that's what he called her. I don't want to stop, but I guess I should. Look after your sister. Tell her I couldn't wait to meet her, and she'll be loved too. I hope y'all have a wonderful life with kids of your own. Don't wait too long. Your loving dad. P.S. Always smile, my beautiful baby. She says, Mama, why do you have to go? Mama says, only Jesus knows. When you need him here, he'll always be close. In the backyard of Nathan Harvey. In the backyard of Lizzie Harvey. And, and so now Nathan would say, Enough with the sap and have my baby a birthday party. And that's what we're going to do. Elizabeth. Yeah.